everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Haley and this is the house for hosting and today I'm gonna to be showing you a quick little DIY tutorial on how you can create your very own Barbie box now I know Barbie is all the rage right now with a new movie that's came out and we just recently celebrated my youngest daughter's sixth birthday of course we had to do it Barbie style and so I decided to create my very own Barbie box for the party I originally was gonna try to find one to purchase and I looked everywhere and I couldn't find one. And then the ones I did find were a lot more than I wanted to pay. So I opted to create one myself and I videoed it so I can share it with you guys today. So if you are planning on doing a Barbie party or anything like that and you want to recreate this box, I hope that this video will help you to do that. I'm gonna have all of the supplies that I used listed in the description of this video so you can find that there. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments, but I hope you enjoy the video. And with that, let's get started. First, I wanna talk about the supplies that you're gonna need for this project. Now you can find the full list in the description of this video, but what you'll be needing is foam board, spray paint, a level, a tape measure, a pencil, an X-Acto knife, and a square. I also used hot glue gun with the glue and tape, which you'll see later in the video. So to start, the foam board that I'm using, I actually purchased from Hobby Lobby. And at Hobby Lobby, they have larger pieces of foam board. This is a 40 by 60 inch foam board and I purchased two of those. At Hobby Lobby, they will actually cut your foam board for you, which I highly recommend that you utilize because they can create one solid straight cut and it just saves time and it makes it easier for your project. So for one of my foam boards, I had them strip it straight down the middle, which gave me two pieces that were 20 inches wide and 60 inches tall. This was perfect for the sides of my box. Again, this was for my daughter's sixth birthday party. So being 60 inches, so that came out perfect, which is about five feet. And that worked great for all the kids at the party. And it even worked okay for me because if you haven't noticed, I'm on the more vertically challenged side. But if you are looking for something that is taller, you will end up needing to piece it together and you will have a seam. I did not want seams, so again, I opted just to keep it at the 60 inches and it worked great for my project. So I purchased two of the 40 by 60 boards, had them cut one straight down the middle to create my sides and I left the first board completely solid. I started off because this is the front face of the box by going around and creating my perimeter which I did that by measuring five inches around each side and made my straight lines. So using my tape measure and the square I measured five inches from the sides and the top and created the perfect square and then for the bottom, I came up slightly higher than five inches on one side and a few inches higher on the other and just created that angle. I wouldn't get too hung up on the measurements of the angle because you can make it however fits you and your box. The key is you just want that line to be straight. So again, using the square tool, that's what's going to give you that straight line and help you have the look of a true Barbie box. Also, keep in mind you're going to want enough space on the bottom for the words Barbie. So, choose to leave as much box as you want or as little as long as you have enough room for it to say what you want it to say. And utilize your tools to make sure that your lines are straight because that's what makes it look less like a DIY project and more like something professional that you purchased from the store. Now that you have your boards cut out, you can take it outside and paint it. Now I saw several different videos where some people spray painted, some people did regular paint, and some people even took wrapping paper and just wrapped it. I chose to spray paint versus the wrapping paper because I wanted a smooth finish and I just felt like the wrapping paper 
didn't really look as much like a Barbie box that I was going for. So they still looked okay, but I really preferred the spray painted look better. Keep in mind, I ended up using way more spray paint than I thought it was gonna take. I originally purchased two cans and it actually ended up taking four, I think it might've even been a little bit more, but it took a lot more than I thought. After I spray painted it, then I went over with a glitter shimmer finish on the front that I got from Hobby Lobby as well, which I would highly recommend because it just gave it that extra fun Barbie look. It's not necessary, but I really did like the look of it. Um, and all in all, I was just extremely proud at this point of how the box was turning out and coming together and the color is very, very Barbie. And now we're ready for the assembly. And to be completely honest, when it got to this point in my project, I was not even sure if this was going to work or if I had wasted all my time. But I kept rolling with my plan and the reason we're here today is to say it worked. So stick with me and just follow me through these next few steps. So using your hot glue gun, you're going to quickly do a bead of hot glue and then take your board and place it on there. Now, I have noticed when I work with hot glue, it dries very quickly. So don't just rely on the hot glue. You're gonna go behind with some clear tape. I actually used clear packing tape and I layered it up really good with the packing tape um, completely in the seams on both sides just to give it that rigid structure. And then you're gonna need to just grab something in your house to kind of prop the boards up because they're still gonna wanna fall over. It's not going to completely stay together until we add the top as well. Um, one thing that I just realized I actually completely forgot to tell y'all was about the top and you might need to know that. So let's pause for a brief second and let me explain the top. Now the top was a piece of foam board that I purchased from Hobby Lobby as well. And it was 40 inches wide by 20 inches deep. So that gave us, again, remember our sides were 20 inches. And I just purchased one foam board from Hobby Lobby and cut off a little extra and attached it. Again, that's what gave it that complete box top that was the right measurements. I do not like seams, but being that it was the top of the board, that was okay. So for your top, you're going to want to remember. And again, in the description, I will have that listed clear for you to understand but you're going to have your top, your two sides, and your front, and you're going to spray paint all those, hot glue, and then tape. Now for the words, I actually printed off these letters on my computer and then hand cut them out from cardstock. I purchased white glitter cardstock from Hobby Lobby, and for the font, I just found a font that looked pretty Barbie-like on my Canva account and then I typed in the words and just played with the size and then I printed them one letter at a time to create the word Barbie in the size that I wanted and then once I had it cut out I just would place it on there lightly tape it and again just kind of eyeball it there was really no science to this but I just knew I wanted it to look uniform and I didn't want it to be janky and all over the place I really wanted it to look like a true Barbie box and once I had it placed how I wanted I used Mod Podge to glue it on and help it stay put so for the final step in this box I wanted to use pink streamers for the back I have seen people where they've made a complete back I didn't want to do that because I knew that would take more time and more money Plus, I felt like it would be easier for the kids to get in and out of the box if I did streamers. So, I purchased these hot pink streamers from Timu. And they came in a pack of three, which I ended up using all three to make the layer really thick. I just felt like it looked the best. And I think it was like seven bucks. So, again, I love Timu. You've seen my reviews. But it really completed the Barbie box and just made it look perfect. I am so pleased with how it turned out. It was just a complete hit at the party. And like I've said in the description of this video, I will have 
more detailed of the measurements. If you try this and you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave something in the comment section and let me know what I can do to help. I will definitely try that. But all in all, this project was much easier than I thought. It was fun and it was just something that really completed our Barbie theme party for my six-year-old and she really loved it. So this is the setup for um, the day of the party and we had the box and I had a little backdrop which I've also used before from House of Party. I did a balloon garland. I ended up creating this wooden arch. All in all, her Barbie party was probably one of my favorites that we've had. I love their parties and I love decorating and it just turned out to be so cute and so fun and the Barbie box was definitely a hit. So if you give this a try, let me know in the comments how it turns out. I hope that this will help and I hope you'll have enjoyed the video. Please, if you haven't already, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank y'all for being here. Bye. Thank you.